Pennsylvania West Soccer Association is now changing its rules. What they want to do is they want to eliminate this action here. It's called heading. And basically, they want to try to eliminate concussions among the young players. Heading. It's recognized as one of the coolest skill sets in the soccer game. It's more than just bouncing a ball off the head. It's a common art of passing the ball to teammates with precision. But it can sometimes be dangerous. His head hit into my head, um, breaking this bone. and Knocked you out? Knocked me out for just a second. I had to get carried off the field. Um, concussion? Concussion, yeah, about six weeks. Fear of concussions is why the Pennsylvania West Soccer Association is removing the heading technique with the youngest age group, kids between 5 and 11. Youth soccer leagues get started this weekend, but it's not allowed with the youngest players. We haven't had any major issues with concussions or any number increases or decreases. However, if a rule can prevent one kid from having a brain injury, we'll follow the guideline and, and promote it. Allegheny Health Network's Neuroscience Institute says nationally, 30% of soccer concussions come from head-to-head -head contact when two players attempt heading at the same time. But there's also the fear of the unknown when it comes to young kids repeatedly heading a soccer ball when their brains are not fully developed. The repeated heading of a ball in a young brain which is not fully developed, it's still basically developing the insulation around the brain cells, the myelin, what this can do in years to come. But Riverhound players say good luck trying to get kids to avoid heading. It's good for the safety, but it's going to be hard for kids to be able to not want to head the ball. But there is a penalty if a player breaks the heading rule. If the kid intentionally heads the ball, then the other team is automatically awarded an indirect kick from the spot of the foul. Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.